Welcome to Tammy's Pumpkin Stand. There are pumpkins here of various sizes and shapes so that you can pick out the perfect one to carve up into a jack-o'-lantern and enter into this year's Harvest Festival contest. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video or welcome for the first time if you're new here. I am Miss Mini Life and I build minis. Today we are gonna continue my craft timber series and we're going to build a tiny pumpkin stand where you can buy some mini pumpkins. I'm thinking at the end of this Crap Timber series that maybe I will do like a giveaway with these. So let me know if you guys want that down in the comments after the video or right now. And let me show you guys these. I'm so happy with how these pumpkins turned out. Um, I've been using the epoxy sculpt again, and I I am continuing to fall further and further in love with that stuff. Like always, I will have all of the things that I used down in the description box under my supply list. And I also have been making little guide things for um, my builds. In this one, I made some pattern pieces for the pumpkin stand itself. And I'm actually using it in the next build, so there's a couple of things on there that are gonna be used in the next build that you don't really need. They're all ready, like, measured to the right size, and I made a PDF. That will be on my Patreon page, and you can pick that up there if you're a patron. At the $5 tier or above, you get downloadables from me, so... Whenever I post downloadables, you will be able to get them there. Alright guys, let's get into the build. So starting out, this is one of those papers I was just talking to you guys about where I made a drawing of all of the pieces for the thing that I'm going to fit together. And since this is all done to scale, I can just use this as a guide. I'm starting out with these coffee stirs. These still last me forever, but you want to make sure they're not curved like this um, because that makes it difficult when you are cutting and gluing the pieces. And then they were a little too fat, so I went ahead and sliced them up with a X-Acto knife just to make sure they were the right size. Okay, not an X-Acto knife. Actually, it was a razor, but you know, you get the point. I'm super gluing down all of the pieces and basically just going according to my little paper that I made. That made it so much easier. I don't really have to think about anything. I'm just matching the sizes and then gluing it all together like directly onto the paper. These little apple crates were so easy, but so cute and so fun. And I feel like you could use these to put little gifts inside of for like the holidays or something. So I really like these. I had so many ideas for these for the build and they were super quick to make and like so easy. But let's move on to the pumpkins. So I got some random sticks and just kind of broke them up and then used tin foil to make little balls on the end. Here's where I used the epoxy sculpt. are still too big just ignore that <laughs> but I use gloves while mixing because that's what the directions say but then after that you can go ahead and just use your hands I rolled that over the tin foil and then made the ridges for the pumpkins and made some like kind of wiggly parts I actually have a real pumpkin that I was looking at to remember how pumpkins look especially when it came time to do the painting I'm color matching this pumpkin because like in my head I always just think oh a pumpkin it's orange right but then it's a very specific kind of weird pumpkiny orange <laughs> so I went ahead and tried to match the color the best that I could and the best way I found to do this was to paint a base coat of yellow and then go over it with my orange color I added on some little details for the parts where it got damaged while growing and then I wanted to have these be inside of the little crates that I made so I made some shredded paper just because this is going to be a display for selling them and I thought that was more of a decorative touch. And then I put them into the crate and this is how they look. Moving on to the stand itself. I'm using the same paper guys. This thing is just my guide for everything. I'm using tracing paper to trace it out onto 1 16th of an inch thick craft wood. Make sure you have a cat nearby who can inspect it to make sure that it's the appropriate size. I'm cutting some strips for the details on the wood. Okay, 
so I have been instructed to start being better about getting my thought process and like frustrations and stuff on film for you guys. I bought this um, aliens or aliens. I've never heard that word out loud before so I don't know what the correct pronunciation is. It says rapid dry, incredibly fast drying in yellow, ultra strong dries in minutes. But then I'm reading on the back and it says wait and it says for a maximum bond allow 24 hours for cure time. It seems to me like this is like something where I stick it together, it dries to the touch super fast, and then it's just gonna keep curing in the background and I have to wait 24 hours for it to be as strong as possible, but it's stuck together. But I'm not 100% sure, and nowhere does it say like working time or anything like that. I'm gonna be painting over it. And I don't know if it's gonna mess up the bond. It should be fine, but I get so caught up in details and I've literally just been sitting here holding my head for like 15 minutes being like, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. And do you ever like run into stuff where you're like working with the pro, uh, um, you're just like working with a specific product or something and you're suddenly just like, how do I even use this? End of the day, the rapid dry Aileen or Aileen, however you want to pronounce it, glue worked pretty well but I did have exactly the issue that I thought I might encounter which was that when wet the glue kind of dissolved and some of the wooden pieces lifted. Here's... Do uh, you see what I have to deal with? Do you know how hard it was to try and get him to move? And then look at this. He recruited his friend. So difficult to work with you have cats but I love them to death. <laughs> To paint the wood, I'm making a wood stain using isopropyl, isopropyl, so impossible to say that word. I'm using 50% alcohol and mixing it with some acrylic paint to make the brown and that just helps it to seep into the wood and not really lose as much of the color as it would do if you just used water. Then I'm going over it with green acrylic paint and dabbing off most of the paint and then just dry brushing it over the top of the wood. I made a little harvest festival sign to let people know how much the pumpkins cost and I wanted it to look like a blackboard so I went over it with a little bit of white paint to make it look like someone had erased away some of the words and I needed a sign to let people know this is where they could buy some pumpkins so I printed out this the word pumpkin and then traced that and painted it with acrylic paint. Once I glued my sign together, I propped it onto the piece, and this is our final pumpkin stand. I love, 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 love how this turned out. We're just gonna keep moving, and the next one is going to be the bake sale. I'm so excited to make all these tiny foods. This is gonna be literally so much fun. You guys don't wanna miss that, then hit the subscribe button down below, and you will get notified. Actually, you have to ring the bell to get notified. YouTube's being a little, weird but you will get notified of the next video in the series and you can continue to follow along here are my patron shout outs thank you guys so much for supporting the channel you are the reasons i've been able to try things like epoxy sculpt and get new tools um, and supplies and i will have a video coming out for you guys on patreon where i go over the things that like i've used some of the patron finances for so you guys can see where your like support is actually going. I really appreciate everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.